quote from one of the greats, Les Brown. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. Hey guys, welcome to another video advice with myself, Noah Hammond. Today we're going to be talking about the subconscious mind and how you can take control of programming your subconscious mind. Now, like I said in the introduction, if you don't program yourself, life is going to program you. And unfortunately, the dominant vibration on this planet is negative. Most people talk a lot more about what doesn't work, why you can't do it, why you're not smart enough, cool enough, hot enough, attractive enough, thin enough, good enough, etc. So if you want to be programmed with that stuff, cool, don't do any conscious programming of yourself and you'll walk around being a victim. But since you're watching this video, I think you're here to learn how to program your subconscious mind. So let's get into that instead. Now, it's important to understand a couple different things about the subconscious mind. One is that it's mostly programmed by the time we're six or seven years old. So, most of your current programming, the way you currently process life, and another important thing to know is that the subconscious mind is responsible for about 95% of your life, of the actions you take, of the thoughts you think, etc. Your subconscious mind is dominating your life. And, again, it's fully programmed by the time you're six or seven years old. So, almost entirely how your life looks and who you are comes from decisions you've made based on experiences you've had from the age of six years old and younger. Unless you go back in and consciously reprogram. Now the other important thing to understand is that the subconscious mind does not speak in words. It has no idea what words mean. Okay, what it speaks in is emotion. It speaks in the language of emotions. Emotions like joy, happiness, bliss, love, those are subconscious mind saying yes, good, awesome, all right. Emotions like depression, anxiety, fear, doubt, worry, those are the subconscious mind saying no, stop, uh-uh, don't like that, okay? It's an emotional guidance system and it's the way it communicates with you. If you have you'd like to learn how to control the system in depth and all about the system, I actually have a three-part video series about programming your emotions. So make sure you check that out. It's in my channel and it's on my website at noahhammond.com. Today, we're going to talk about just a couple simple ways to program your subconscious mind. All right, and these are things that I know personally, I've used them personally, and also a lot of this stuff comes from my Instant Achievement Blueprint, which is an entire book that I wrote on goal setting and achievement. It's a five-step cyclical process that will keep your life moving forward in all ways at all times. And a big part of that is reprogramming your subconscious mind. So if you like the advice I have here and you want to find out more of my tips for reprogramming your subconscious mind, and how to create any goal that you really truly desire, it's all in that book. So go check that out after this video. Now, two of my favorite ways for reprogramming the subconscious mind. One is what I call the mirror exercise, where on my bathroom mirror, I just have written affirmations, right? Specifically, the ones that I have on there right now are, I love you for creating lots of self-love, I deserve my greatness for creating lots of self-worth and then I am grateful for creating lots and lots of gratitude, right? Now the important thing is remember, I said that your emotions or your subconscious mind doesn't speak in words but in emotions. So when I say these things to myself, which is pretty much every time I go into the bathroom for any reason, I look myself in the eye and I take a moment to just really connect with myself. It's almost like opening the window to your subconscious, right? And then I even add kinesthetics to it. So when I say I love you, I smile. I say, I actually, I do this. I put a little heart on my chest and say, I love you, or I love myself, right? And this is bringing my kinesthetics into it, which is also another part of their subconscious programming. So I'll say, I love myself. I deserve my greatness, and I'm grateful. 
right? And I'll do that over and over again, looking into one and then the other eye and really deeply connecting myself and feeling the emotions that those bring, right? The, the emotion of my self-love, feeling the emotion of my, of my self-worth, of deserving, feeling the emotion of complete gratitude. These are vibrational emotions. Okay, they have a certain frequency to them. And the more often you attune to those and associate those words with those frequencies, you're inserting that programming into your subconscious mind and it begins to be the, the patterns that run your life as opposed to the other patterns that might currently be running your life like I'm not good enough or I don't really like myself or I don't really give a shit, I'm not grateful for anything, right? All of those kinds of things might be subconsciously programmed and again it stems back from when you were six years old for who knows what reason someone made fun of you in class and you decided I must not be a good person right and you've lived your life out of that paradigm since okay so you need to consciously reprogram this stuff now another technique that I really enjoy is visualization because again your subconscious mind speaks in emotions so when I want to create a goal or create something in my life I always take time daily to see the goal as if I had it, to see it clearly, to, to smell the air in the, in the visualization, to hear the sounds in the visualization, to feel the feelings with my hands, with the experience. You know, if it's a car you want, you might feel your fingers wrapping around the leather steering wheel and feel the g-force of the accelerator kicking in and all that and just see it. And most importantly, feel those emotions of what it's like to be there because we create reality okay so if you create these vibrational frequencies of these emotions and these experiences you will begin to align with those experiences and those experiences will come into your life so that's what I wanted to get to you guys today just a couple simple tips for reprogramming your subconscious mind I hope it's been helpful Again, the Instant Achievement Blueprint is available on my website. And if you have any questions, head over to noahhammond.com and use the contact form. I like to make videos out of your guys' questions, whether they be on health, wealth, relationships, awareness, self-development, really anything that you've got, I would love to make a video about it for you. So I hope this has been helpful. Please like the video if you like it. Comment below. Check me out on Facebook. And I'll see you guys soon with another video.